I have a curiosity if we can actually learn things from chat GPT. Okay, let's say I want to learn MBA in finance. Okay, so let's let's try to ask if it can do something or if it can teach us something. So I'll start like, hey, my name is uh, let's say Nirmal, and I am thinking of learning, thinking of uh, learning finance let's say okay now this is a thought i'm putting in chat gpt's mind and i have given that's a great normal learning finance blah 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 okay now uh can i am i am thinking of uh, doing mba in finance now this is how we do the, when it comes to this prompting and all you need to be a little bit careful this is a solid option looking for advice in application process uh not the application process actually i am i am looking to learn it uh, for or learn it without enrolling into a course let's say yeah enrolling into a course so if i do that suddenly yeah see uh, this is a possible uh, do you know this do you know let's ask for the syllabus do you know the syllabus for the same so yep agar syllabus pata chal jata hai mba in finance has a very intensive financial markets okay uh key areas include financial accounting corporate finance investment management financial market risk management and strategic financial analysis additionally okay these are some of the things let's choose one subject let's say i'll start with uh, corporate finance okay uh let's say i want to learn corporate finance first okay so this is a subject we are choosing and let's see how accurate it can go ahead with principles of corporate finance by okay uh, can you help me learning the corporate finance learning the subject okay learning the subject okay it says yes uh where should i how how should i start learning how should i start learning the same to begin with these are the topics i need to cover okay so uh okay a lot of things there are in, uh, included 10 topics it has included including the books so uh it is saying that you should start with fundamental concepts uh, finalizing yourself with financial statements income statement balance sheet understand basic accounting blah 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 time value of money learn about then budgeting and financial planning cost of capital capital budgeting risk management corporate governance case studies online courses and resources books so uh even until uh, case, if even if i'm not including case studies in the subject at least seven sub topics are there so uh shall we begin with fundamental concepts let let me put shall we begin uh, just uh, just shall we begin with the fundamental concepts then absolutely so what are the fundamental concepts uh financial statements yeah can you teach me financial statements then mm -hmm. uh it is saying okay not much into the details but again we need to ask it again and again take it like as an intern so uh talks about income statement which is profit and loss statement the statement shows a company's revenues expenses and profits or losses over a specific period quarterly or annually the formula is net income equals to revenue minus expenses okay 
Key components include sales, cost of goods sold, operating expenses and net income. Then it talks about balance sheet. Balance sheet says that the balance sheet provides a snapshot of a company's assets, liabilities and equity at a specific point in time. The accounting equation is assets equals to liabilities plus equity. Assets are what the company owns, liabilities are what it owes and equity represents the owner's stake in the business. Then we talk about cash flow statement. Okay, this statement tracks the cash inflows and outflows during a specific period, categorizing activities into operating, investing, and financing. Key sectors include operating cash flow, investing cash flow, and financing cash flow. Okay, now this is just like the introduction of these concepts. So I'll put a question mark. Is that all? Uh, let's say what it she what it says about if it is. Uh, no, it is saying something more. So what is that something more? We need to understand, explore different. Uh, okay, so additionally, blah, 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 all these things. It's helpful to interpret the interrelation between these statements. Financial statements often involve comparison data across multiple, pros, uh, multiple periods and against industry benchmark. Okay. Can you be more detailed? Yeah, so it has started creating that categorization that when we are talking about this uh, income statement, it has uh, created that separation between revenue expenses and then the net income balance sheet. It has created separation between assets and liabilities then assets are further divided into current assets non-current liabilities are divided into current liabilities long-term liabilities equity then cash flow statement is divided into operating activities investing activities and financing activities can i pass the exam with this so we need to be clear about that if we can do that or not right so understanding financial in addition to you may also need to study financial ratios time value okay so in conclusion what i can say is there is a possibility that we can learn but we need to be accurate enough about giving the information that what we are asking because sometimes it will give only the brief of it if you want to get into the details you need to keep questioning it again and again it has answers it it knows everything but you need to get it it is like uh, the open ocean it has everything but how to get out things out of the ocean that you have to figure out so that is your chat gpt yes mba is a possibility that can be done through chat gpt itself